the Christmas Eve game. Bears versus Cardinals, and this had a touch to it that I didn't expect. It was a 3.30 game on Christmas Eve, so in the winter, and half the game is during the day, half the game is at night. So it's almost like you can shoot two different games in one, which is very, very nice whenever you want to get a variety of shots. So this game didn't mean a whole lot. Bears versus Cardinals, I mean, let's be honest here. But it was awesome to have that hard sunlight at the beginning of the game. And then the back half of the game, it was a straight up night game. So we started in pregame, bright daytime, sunset, and then by the end, pitch black. Today we're going to be counting down my top eight shots from this week 16 game in Chicago. Starting out at number eight, we have a celebration shot. Now, there were a couple different elements of this photo that I got. This one is Justin Fields celebrating the touchdown. I also got him running into the end zone, and something I need to figure out better next season versus this season is finding that in-between lens, finding a better option for it, at least. I find myself whenever the team is getting inside the 10-yard line, I can't use my 200 to 400 millimeter lens, and I also think that the 24 to 70 might be a little bit too wide. Now is the 70 to 200 the other option? Yes, but I still think the 70 might be too tight in most scenarios, especially if the play is coming right at me. So whether it's maybe carrying another camera, which obviously costs me more money and having three cameras on you is very clunky, or maybe it is just finding a better lens. I don't know, but I did get the run into the end zone, but that's not the shot we're talking about. This celebration right here happened, and look at the shot of me running over to get this photo. So the touchdown happened on the other side of me, and I did my little photographer waddle with my camera to run over, snap this photo, and I'm pretty happy with how the photo turned out, but it's funny watching that behind the scenes. Now, number seven, you know that every single time I'm shooting a game, the thing I'm looking forward to is photographing the new players that I haven't photographed before. In this case, the player for the Cardinals that I was looking forward to getting to shoot is Kyler Murray. Now, you'll see a couple photos of him throughout the sequence of this video, but this tight shot of Kyler Murray paired up with a video that I also got. This was 400 millimeters, really tight on his face. And then this is the video that I got. Quick little video for my reel, doesn't hurt. Shoot a little bit of video, but mostly photo for the NFL. But right here, just the separation from the background, the really intimate moment. I mean, he could not be more isolated in this photo. And sometimes those super tight shots on the face are what I'm looking for and really just what I want. The fact that I'm looking up at him a little bit makes him seem larger than life. And yeah, that's number seven. Number six, we got another Cardinals photo. This was during the coin toss and I've only went out for the coin toss a handful of times, but it is a nice perk about the credential that I get from the NFL. I'm allowed to go out there. Not everybody's allowed to go out there. So this one being the last game I was gonna photograph of the season, I was like, all right, why not? Let's go out. So I followed the Cardinals players out, got this moment of all four of them walking out to the coin toss to midfield. And I mean, I really like how it turned out. There is part of me that wishes the referee wasn't in it, but it is what it is. You got to deal with what is around you. Number five is a very unique perspective. Now, I'm not always a huge fan of putting pregame photos in these top photos from the game because they're a lot easier to get and you're not really capturing what actually happened in the game. But this unique perspective of Cairo Santos, the Bears kicker, is just something special. This was shot with the 24 to 70 and the Canon R5, but I could get up there right by the ball, get this wide perspective. Once again, since it's pregame, there was that hard sunlight coming in. You got that backlight of them, then you lift the shadows, and I just, uh, this is art. Sometimes during pregame, I try and capture art. And during the game, I capture more professional sports photos. But if you can be artistic, that's how you set yourself apart. And in pregame, you can get artistic because there's not any specific shots I typically need to get. Occasionally there are, but a lot of the time it's capturing what's happening and just making it look unique because the same thing happens every single game, whenever it comes to pregame at least. Number four could also be number one. So that shows you how good of a game I photographed in this specific game. But 
Kyler Murray once again during the national anthem. This time, you see more of what's actually happening. You see the fireworks in the background. And let me let you in on a little bit of a secret here. I photoshopped in the fireworks. There were a little bit of fireworks during the actual photo that I took, but I took a bunch of photos through this entire sequence and I had the best photo of him looking to the side and then I paired it up with the best photo of the fireworks in the sky. So now that I told you, you might be able to tell that all those fireworks aren't real. I hope you can't tell because I tried doing my best, but I added a couple of fireworks into the sky. Don't tell anyone, but I think this might be one of my favorite photos of the year. But once again, it's pregame. It's not that hard to get. You just got to be in the right place. Number three, there are moments in the game where you can capture that intimate, personal moment of the player. That's exactly what happened here. Justin Fields, after he had about a 50-yard run, looking at the defender and just giving him a face. He actually gave a little shrug, but I was holding down my shutter throughout the entire run. And I know the CF Express Type B cards that I use in my Canon R5 are supposed to allow you to just continuously shoot, but I think since I had an SD card in for the JPEGs that I was shooting onto, it slows the camera down so I can't just shoot unlimited photos consecutively. My camera actually stopped and was buffering, which drives me insane, frankly. It uh, is really annoying whenever you're trying to get a good photo and a whole sequence and your camera just stops and you're so helpless, you can't really get anything. But after it was done buffering, I had a couple more shots that I could get. This was one of them. So I did get the whole sequence of the run. I didn't get the shrug, but I still got him looking at the defender and just talking a little bit, you know, celebrating in their face. I like Justin Fields. I hope he stays and keeps being a bear, but we can talk about that another time. Now, number two is number two because of the unique factor of it. This was Christmas Eve. So obviously you're going to have some Christmas themed things happen around the players. DJ Moore during pregame came out with a Santa hat on and green cleats. So it's like the Grinch cleats. This photo is just something that you can't get any other time. And that's why I think it's really cool. If this was just DJ Moore without the cool cleats, without the hat, this photo might not have even been edited by me. Yeah, maybe I send it to the team so they can use it during pregame, throw it on a story, maybe post it. But it doesn't mean anything but the fact that he's wearing a Santa hat and those cleats makes this photo one of a kind. It makes it so that you can't really replicate it unless he does the same thing next year. But overall, if you zoom into those cleats, those are the Grinch cleats. So I got a couple tight photos of those as well. But there was something about this photo. You look at the different elements of it. You obviously see the Santa hat, his tongue's out, the Grinch cleats, and then... Even the cherry on top is the fact that you see the NFL logo on the ball tucked perfectly as he's running. This photo, as I edited it and composed it whenever I actually shot it, there's something special about it where it really seems like nothing is off about it, which is something to appreciate in itself. Now, number one, before we go to number one, subscribe, like this video. I post a lot of stuff about sports photography, so... Thank you for watching. But number one, Kyler Murray throw on the run. It looks like the Jordan logo. I mean, this looks like if Kyler Murray came out the shoe that they wanted to make a bootleg of the Michael Jordan logo, this is it. This photo from behind the line of scrimmage, pretty much planning to hopefully get a Bears sack or a throw because I believe they were pretty close to their own end zone in this case. I am so pumped with how this turned out. And actually, I like being to the side of a quarterback most of the time whenever you get shots of them throwing, but this one turned out to be better to be behind him. So you see the whole nameplate, you see who it is, there's no mistake in who it is, and then you actually see the extension of the throw on the run. I believe this was a completed pass, but that doesn't really matter. When you're shooting sports photos, it's about getting a cool photo. Yes, you capture the moments and you want to capture all those big moments, but also you can get away with a little bit more because the Cardinals offense didn't move the ball very well. So it's hard to get a good shot of the Cardinals offense for something that's actually relevant in the game. But this shot right here goes up there as one of my favorite photos I've ever taken. And I say that for every photo, which is a good thing. I say it every game, which is also a good thing. But this photo is the best photo, in my opinion, of 
one of the best games that I've ever photographed. Thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed already, once again, subscribe. I appreciate you. If you want to learn how I edited these photos, go back. I recently posted a photo going through every single thing that I do to edit my NFL photos. So you like that. And here are a few other photos from this game that I didn't mention quite yet. Peace.